Hi there. I have always been intrigued by these beautiful animating gradient borders. It just uplifts your design super easily. And especially on this landing page of AuthKit, it has been used to highlight almost everything from illustrations to cards to buttons to shapes, everything. I thought why not try this on Framer. Currently on Framer, you can just add a solid border color. You cannot add a gradient to it. You don't get an option. But there's a way around where you can do that and also animate the border. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So for this tutorial, I'm using one of the uh, examples I got from Figma's community file. This is the pricing page structure. I'm using that and I recreated this on Framer using stacks. And I used the default navbar that Framer offers to give this like a uh, give to give this a page like structure. And we're going to use one of these cards as an example to add the border, uh, the gradient border. So let's begin by creating the structure. I'm going to check the dimensions on this business card that we have here. That is 4760. Hitting F on my keyboard, I'm creating another frame and matching the dimensions here. That is 4760 because this is the card that we have. Let us just give this a color so it's more visible. This is not final. This is just for reference. And I'm going to duplicate this card by hitting Command D. Now for this particular card, let's just add some uh, more width. That is 16 pixels uh, width and 16 pixels height. So we get an overall padding of 8 pixels from each side, which you'll see now. I'm also going to change the color of this card here. Let's just change that to uh, just give it a random blue color. And place this red card inside the blue card. This blue card is our border card. And... The frame that we have just created, the red card is our original card. I'm going to center align it. And now I'll have a, a padding of almost 8 pixels from each side if you see. Now let us just quickly rename this parent frame that is border card. I'm selecting this card right here and I'm going to check the corner radius here which is somewhere around uh, 44 pixels. So let's just add that here. For our border card so changing the corner radius to 44 and for this internal card let's just change that to uh 40 pixels just like that so yeah our border card is ready now what i'm going to do is let us just select this frame right here and i'm going to duplicate this frame by hitting command d now the second frame that we just duplicated i'm going to give you a different color let's just uh give it a uh, random gray color doesn't matter really uh, because we're going anyway going to change it later and i want to make this big in size so that it sort of covers the original border card that we had the parent frame now let's just rename this card to card and this frame to border gradient now we're going to select the border gradient card and we're going to add the actual gradient here so let's just change this to linear gradient from solid fill and you can add any gradient you like in any direction. So let's just change that to maybe uh, this purple color that we have. And I'm just picking up random colors so that it sort of matches the original design. I'm setting this card here and changing it to white. So that is exactly how you can add gradient borders to your cards or buttons for that matter. Anywhere you like. Now let's just copy the content from this card right here. I'm going to place it inside my new card which has a nice gradient border just like that. Now what if I want to animate this border? You know I want it to sort of give that moving effect. Now for that let's just change the linear gradient to conic gradient from here and this will have a different sort of an effect you'll see. We can adjust it on what sort of coverage you want for the gradient. Like if you want it all the way around or halfway through you can adjust the opacity, the colors and everything to finally get what sort of, you know, gradient effect you want to create around the border. Just like that, I'm adjusting it through the slider. Now, it's not really visible because I have a color set for my border card, which I need to get rid of to, in order for me to be able to uh, judge the cone gradient well. Now, I can reduce the opacity here and see how much, how long I want this entire gradient uh, 9 to uh, look like and now let's go to effects go to low and I'm going to let it be uh, set in this default setting I'm just going to change the transition here and I'm going to increase the time from 1 to maybe 6 seconds 
uh, once that is done we can go back and play now if you scroll down you'll see that this is sort of moving but it's not getting the right effect because it's sort of getting cut throughout now there's a way to sort of adjust this as well let's just select this border gradient here and we're going to increase this in size just like this we want to uh, increase the size of this frame so that it sort of covers the entire area now if when you rotate it you'll be able to see how it's covering the card now so let's just play it again and have a look and there we go so this is how you can create that moving gradient uh, border effect now i'm going a step ahead and adding a nice shadow to this card because it looks like it's merging with the background so i don't want that look for my card so we'll just quickly give this a nice shadow and once that is done let's just play it and have a look well you can always edit the speed of this loop effect and adjust it to your liking now i want to play around with other gradient options so i'm selecting this border gradient frame again going to fill and instead of connect let's just change this to linear gradient i'm going to change the direction of this uh gradient here and also uh change the color and positioning and everything let's just change it to some bright pink color and increase the opacity here so it's a little more visible just like that so what if you have a linear gradient instead of a conic gradient right let's just try that out as well let's just go back here and click on this play button hell i'm going to make it full screen this has a very nice subtle effect if you follow along my cursor you'll see how this is going in a circular motion now if you want to highlight something using gradients in a very subtle manner then this is your way to go next let's move to uh, this website called shader gradient in here you will find a bunch of options for animated gradients and you can use these arrows right next to the text to sort of explore and browse through all in here you will find a bunch of creatively done gradients with different motions and styles you can copy the component as you like and edit this further i'm going to scroll down and there i'll find uh, a section and exclusively for framer i'm going to copy this component here and paste it right in my file just like that and with this component if you see on my properties panel i've gotten a bunch of options to edit this further there's an option to sort of uh, add control then colors shapes effects you can add a different color here i can add a different color for example i want to add purple so yeah i can do all of those changes i can change the view the axis a lot of other options for you to explore i'll leave that to you uh you can explore as you like for example there's an option to change the effects i am going to turn off the green and you'll see how different the gradient looks now it looks better with the green effects i'm going to turn that on and you can change the light type you can change the presets here you can also change the kind of shape you want you will get different types in that as well for example plain sphere water and we'll see how the effect sort of changes now since i'm done with all my experimentation i'm going to just take this frame shader gradient component and i'm going to paste it right inside my border gradient but before that let's just copy and uh, duplicate this card right here and i'm going to drag and drop this uh component right inside the frame the border gradient and once that's done i'm going to adjust the size of this component so it occupies the entire space nicely and now you can see how beautifully it is working it is really magical honestly and can be used in a lot of different places for example on top of my head i can think of a button a button would look great with this sort of a border uh moving uh, gradient border so yeah i have gotten rid of the loop effect because this is already animated and this is how it looks well i hope you found this tutorial helpful and learned something new today thanks so much for watching be sure to check out these other tutorials to continue your framer journey and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already your support motivates us to keep going thanks again for watching i'll see you next time